So we'll talk a little bit actually about the month of Elul. We, we mentioned that we're coming up to the high holidays and it's a time where um, Jews all over the world are getting ready for their, their Rosh Hashanah dinners and they're spending, getting ready to sit and shul for a long time and hopefully enjoy their services. But the, the month of Elul is really um, the last, the final. We have 12 months in the Jewish calendar and it's the final month of the year. And um, it's really a month where we get ready for the, for the month long high holidays of, uh, of Tishrei. And what's interesting about the month of Elul, we say we're meant to take stock of our past year. We're meant to really start thinking about what we've accomplished. You know, if we all had goals on Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah is the day we write down in our minds in Yom Kippur, we, we, we establish the goals for the coming year. So the month of Elul, we kind of think about what, what did we accomplish, <clears throat> what didn't we get a chance to accomplish, and what do we want, how do we want to prepare ourselves for the next year. And it's interesting that the big buzzword of the month is really teshuva, which is commonly translated as repentance. And repentance has a kind of heavy sound to it. You know, we did things wrong, and we, we, we weren't good, and we, we, did, we were bad, and, and, and now we have to repent for the, for the things that we did wrong. And, and I think that um, if we look at the actual meaning of the word teshuva, it really means to return. It doesn't mean to repent. And what is the, what is the difference between repentance and returning? So if we understand that um, our identity, our Jewish identity, is about our connection to God, then maybe during the year we may have strayed a little bit from our connection to God. Maybe we didn't bring out our connection to God in the, in, in the, at every opportunity that we had. And the month of El is about thinking about this teshuva, not repenting for things that we did wrong, but returning to who we are, to, to our essence. If our, to our core is about our connection to God, then we're trying to return to that. If, if we got sidetracked by our business interests, if we got sidetracked by a family feud, if we got sidetracked by something else, but we didn't feel our connection to God so strongly, El is about trying to recalibrate and getting back to our, our who we are as people, and that is channeling the, the connection we have with God and expressing that through Torah and mitzvot, through study of Torah and, 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 and doing mitzvot. So in this in this uh, auspicious month, it's a great time to really sit down and, and turn off all your distractions, all your electronics, make sure nothing's buzzing, and sit down for a few minutes, either with yourself or your spouse, with your children. Think about, you know, what has happened in this past year. What are the, some of the things that you were able to accomplish, the good things that you were able to accomplish? What are some things that you wished you were able to accomplish? And try to, you know, align your, your, yourself and your goals with, with, for this coming year with um, that which is all important to us, which is our, our connection to God, our connection to our families, our connection to our communities, and being you know, as involved as we can be, and if not, adding a little more to our, to our Yiddish connection, to our Jewish connection, and, um, and, and participating, whether it's at synagogue, whether it's at community events, participating with our, with our families, find another relative that we haven't spoken to in a while. That, that's really what the month of El is about, about putting our, our, our priorities in perspective and and trying to cancel out some of the noise and some of the uh, some of the static that that surrounds us every day with just trying to get through the week and get through the month. So, I wish everybody a really um, pleasant and happy journey. It's a long journey. It's a month long journey, but it, it's one that can be really refreshing and one that can be really um, uplifting if we put ourselves to it and put our minds to it and make this coming Jewish year a great year for ourselves, a great year for our, our shul communities wherever we are, and a great year for our, our New Haven community as well.